Yo guys, what is up? This is Real American Studios, and um, today I've decided, like, you know, I'm gonna hop on some some like trending stuff. All right, so if you're a fan of Shane Dawson, you have most likely watched his two latest conspiracy theory videos. Um, I am a fan of Shane Dawson. In fact, he uh, that I watched his second part two of his conspiracy theory video last night. I was highly entertained. But if you don't know if, who I'm talking about, basically. Shane kind of exposed Chuck E. Cheese because, um, well, if you've ever been there, you notice like the pizza never lines up, and the whole conspiracy is that they kind of, um, well, they use, uh, like unfinished pizzas, like they reuse them, like they'll take several pieces from like different pizzas and kind of put them together and recook them and make a pizza. Well, Shane kind of like, he went to Chuck E. Cheese and he um, tested the theory and he wasn't expecting much, but I mean, it kind of turned out to look true. So now people are wondering whether or not Chuck E. Cheese will sue Shane Dawson. So without further ado, I will switch the scenes. Uh, it's probably going to hurt your eyes for just a second. I do apologize, but guys... Um, before I get into this, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both are linked in the description below. Also, uh, you know, kind of, uh, well, join my Discord link below. And at the end, you know, I'll kind of share my thoughts on it. And then I'm going to, like, I'm going to tell you guys about a little bit more stuff. But anyways, without further ado, uh, let's get into the video. All right, so. So that's going to um, hurt you guys' eyes, but here, let's get into the video. Chuck E. Cheese is responding to Shane Dawson's viral conspiracy theory regarding their okay. pizza. You're watching What's Trending, I'm Cheryl Lazar. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more social media news daily. Shane Dawson released part two of his highly anticipated conspiracy series, and now people won't ever look at Chuck E. Cheese the same. In this video, well, Shane decided to take on... There was the pizza right there like if you guys obviously like I mean just look at that does that pizza look lined up at all to you like I mean I'm being completely and utterly honest that pizza does not look lined up so maybe I mean it's very possible Shane has a point here I mean you know like in Chuck E. Cheese the fact that like if you do sue like if you do choose to sue Shane Dawson like it kind of just proves that it's true. Like, I mean, you're kind of shooting yourselves in the foot, if we're being completely honest. But, like... The same. In this video, Shane decided to take on one of America's favorite hmm. foods, pizza, and was hungry for some answers. Hungry for some answers. Shane explains a long-time conspiracy... I mean, come on, just look at this creepy bastard, number one. Like, could you have made a creepier mascot for your, re like, your restaurant or whatever? It's kind of like a restaurant place to play games and stuff. Like, arcade. It's a restaurant arcade, but, I mean, I mean, just look at this creepy bastard. Like, I mean, look at him. Like, <laughs> I mean, I mean, it looked like he got a actual black olive off of the tip of his nose. I mean, I mean, what is that tooth doing, man? <laughs> you got a freaking, like, wheelchair ramp growing out of the bottom of your mouth, boy. Theory that Chuck E. Cheese takes leftover pizza slices, combines them, but yeah, like, heats them, and then reserves them. Every piece is a different size. That yeah, that doesn't line up at all. Longer than that piece, which okay. is shorter than that piece. These pieces in the back are shorter than those pieces, <laughs> and none of I mean, by the way, this video is not to, like, make fun of Chuck E. Cheese or anything. Okay, I kind of roasted their mascot a little bit, but, I mean, it's what I do. Like, th this obviously is not to, like, make, you know, Chuck E. Cheese, like, this obviously is not to, like, make Chuck, like, make Chuck E. Cheese look bad, and it's obviously not to, like, make fun of Shane Dawson because again I'm a fan of Shane Dawson like 
and I do personally want to know if Chuck E. Cheese is suing him. And again, if they sue him, it kind of just proves that it's true. I mean, look, as you can see, he's pointing out, so this pepperoni's cut off. Where's the other part of the pepperoni? Like, it's not there. Of the pepperonis. Oh, man. Line up. This time he gets hands-on, tests out this theory, and goes back as an adult to find some answers. As you can see, they get the pizza, and they're freaking out. I mean, did you guys just say that? I mean... You know, that's a half pepperoni, half cheese. Like, that in no way, shape, or form came from the same pizza. Like, I mean, look, if we're being completely and utterly honest here, like, so, I mean, like, honestly, Shane is my inspiration for doing, like, starting to do these conspiracy theory videos because I do, I am interested in that. I mean, come on, the guy's making a valid point here. Like, Chuck E. Cheese, like, you can't get mad. I mean, like, look, like, this piece, this piece does line up, but, like, I mean, I mean, just look at that, like, if it was cut, like, right there in the middle, I accidentally hit play, if it was cut right there in the middle, like, it wouldn't be looking like that, I mean, if we're being honest there. And of course, social media went crazy. And many joked that Chuck E. Cheese would come for shame. So after all of this, everyone was waiting for Chuck E. Cheese to respond. I even thought if they were smart, they would use this as a publicity stunt and do an awesome collab with Shane. Also, uh, I do want to point out later today, I will be reacting to the Frozen 2 trailer. So, you know, if you, got, like, if you guys are interested in that, make sure to hit that like button. Uh, and like if like obviously I I know at least like a few of you that are watching this video are gonna be Shane Dawson fans and like you know like I, I admit it I'm a pretty big Shane Dawson fan like and the fact that he can make hour and a half videos of this and not once lose my interest is just a testament as to how good of a YouTuber he is because there's times when I do lose interest in like. You know, I'll lose interest in a certain subject. Like, there was even a point where I lost interest in Pokemon videos and to the point where I wasn't even proud of my content. Now, let me tell you something. Last night's conspiracy theory video I made, my finale, this, like, this is content that I'm proud to make. So, you know. Instead, they tweeted this. Nope, all our pizzas are made fresh by our team of talented pizza pros. Each za is handmade, which means the amount of sauce, cheese, and toppings might vary. Like, so, you say all your pizzas are made fresh, like, again, I'm not trying to make Chuck E. Cheese look bad, but I mean, did that pizza look right? Like, it really didn't. So y'all, y'all just have some fucked up pans in or something. And the claims made about Chuck E. Cheese's and our pizza are unequivocally false. No conspiracies here. Our pizzas are made to order and we prepare our dough fresh in rest. Alright, so you basically just said the same exact thing. Restaurant, which means that they're not always perfectly uniform in shape, but always delicious. I mean, at least say you'll work better to make it more uniform. Why are you the only pizza place that has non-uniform pizzas? Just doesn't really make sense. Evan Denal is making a lot of fans nervous since Shane did say that he was scared that he would get sued by the company. Somebody's probably gonna sue. Really? Now this is the part where I really like what really caught my eye, like, because I remember in the video last night, I'm literally up at like 3:30 in the morning watching this video, knowing I had to be up in like four hours anyway. But I mean. You know, I mean, come on, like, Shane, you literally asked the question, and I would have thought, like, with the fact that you're asking that in the video, you wouldn't have a chance of getting sued, but yet, here we are. 
Carrie said, is Shane Dawson going to be sued for exposing Chuck E. Cheese now? Like, it would suck, but it's also kind of iconic. M said, wait, is Shane being sued? I'm like, lost. iconic. George Lisa replied, no, but they want him to sign a cease and desist or some... They want him to take the video down. That's right, according to NBC, Shane has received a cease and desist letter. Oh, hell no. Do not make Shane take that video down. Shane literally... I feel like he worked harder on these past two conspiracy theory videos than they'll ever work at Chuck E. Cheese. I mean, can you imagine the time, the effort, like everything, all the editing that he had that he had to do in order to put these two videos together? And now they're just trying to discredit them. All right, literally, the video last night had 18 million views. I'm sure it's up to about 23 million views by now. His part one last night when I checked, 31 million views. Like, literally more views than I'll probably ever get in my entire YouTube career. But, like, now Chuck E. Cheese wants him to take it down. Like, in, in, Ch Shane even said it in his video. He's a fan of Chuck E. Cheese. If he's a fan of Chuck E. Cheese and a lot of Shane's viewers are, like, a younger audience... Wouldn't that make people want to go to Chuck E. Cheese if a guy like Shane actually likes Chuck E. Cheese? I mean, you're kind of contradicting yourself there, Chuck E. Cheese. Like, you really are. But Shane has not confirmed any of this, and it is unclear whether or not there will actually be a lawsuit. But that would be the most ridiculous lawsuit ever. Come on. It'd be like YouTube becomes court TV, and we're like live streaming the case. I could see it now. Jokes aside, lawsuits suck, lawyers suck, and it costs a lot of money, and we don't want Shane losing money on this. It's not right. It's just a conspiracy theory. God, Chuck E. Cheese, get over yourself. Why are you so obsessed with me? Shane, however, seems to have done his homework ahead of time, pushing back his video. I mean, she's absolutely right. It's just a conspiracy theory. And yes, he may or may not have proved it, like... In the future, last night, I literally mentioned the fact, like, the conspiracy about Walmart's great value products being, like, made out of glue and running, like, Walmart br brand bread through a strainer and you get a lot of glue. Like, I literally said I want to test that out. So, if Chuck E. Cheese is suing him, imagine me, who actually works at Walmart, doing this. Like, would I get fired and sued by Walmart? I mean, you know. No expecting backlash like this. I'm not pushing this video because I'm lazy, but there's things about this video that actually I have to worry about, like getting killed. <laughs> that's a big one. So, like, that's taking time with lawyers and all of that. And understandably, if there are some legal things going down, we're not going to hear about it for a bit of time. But, I mean, yeah, I think you guys pretty much get the point. Like, I mean, you know, like, I, I'm going to go back to, you know, this. But, I mean, I think you guys get the point. Like, so, basically, like, Chuck E. Cheese, don't sue Shane and don't make him take down this video. Okay? I mean, again, he worked hard on that video. Imagine the money he made off of these two videos. Like, so, Shane, like, he has over 20 million subscribers probably more than I'll ever have he's made more money in his life than I'll probably ever make so like you know like so I mean let Shane have his success I mean you know Chuck E. Cheese like you shouldn't get mad I mean because he's not the first person to point out the fact that your pizzas are not like symmetrically even like I even remember going to Chuck E. Cheese as a child. Like, now I'm having flashbacks to seeing those pizzas. Come to think of it, mine were never, like, symmetrically even or however you'd say it. Like, so, I mean, you know, all I can say is don't make Shane take down his video. Like, I mean, you know, like, literally any other conspiracy he's ever made, like, nobody's ever told him to take it down. I mean, you know. So, I mean, that's all I really have to say on that subject. Now, as for the stuff I was going to talk about at the end, um, 
your boy does want to get back on a healthy lifestyle. I do want to get buff. You know, I do want to lose weight. So, you know, like, just drop your support. And also, I want to get back on the YouTube grind, guys. But if you've made it this far in the video, comment hashtag Shane in the comment below. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Real American Studios out. Peace out, all my homies. And again, to you, Shane, you'll probably never watch this video in your life. Shout out to you, man, because you are... Like, your conspiracies have inspired me to do them, you know, and, you know. So, thank you guys for watching. Peace!